All right, looking at the traffic outside, you know what time it is. It's time for school. Of course, I'm talking about High Plains technology, and I've got Katie and Tammy here this morning. Good morning. Tell us about some things going on out at High Plains. Good morning, Brett. Um, So Katie Shirley, Marketing Coordinator at High Plains Tech Center, and I'm glad to be here this morning. And I have my guest with me today, Tammy Keln. I'm very appreciative to have her come join us. She has a ton of stuff to update us on and tell us about. So, um, Tammy, can you tell us your um, title of your role again and what all that entails? Good morning, Katie. I am the Adult Career Development Coordinator out at High Plains, and this is my sixth year out there, so I'm Kind of new, but not real new. Over that five-year mark. Yeah. Pretty big. Okay, so um, tell us what your job, what you what you do. Okay. I am create classes. I am carrying on some classes that have been there for a long time and trying to kind of update them and keep them going with the flow. And um, as time goes on, things also change. So I'm trying to kind of keep things up there. But we have long-term care aid, which is known as CNA out there, and we have that class once a month, and Brenda Hunter teaches that, and it's very much, um, I would like to say up and coming, but it's it's just a going class. It's yeah. something that's very needed right now. It's a, a fast uh, money-making job. If someone's out there and lost their job, that's mm-hmm. um, something they can come and get in two weeks. And then they're out and making 15 to $18 an hour. So that's really kind of cool. And has the need, like you said, it's so it's increased where now you need it once a month because there's so many people needing that. Is that newer, would you say, in the last, like, since like a COVID um, with the shortage of nursing? Or has that kind of been a need since you've, you've been it in It actually that role? started a little bit before COVID because it kind of started um, when we started losing oil field here in Woodward. Mm-hmm. And a lot of a lot more women, for the most part, needed to go back into the workforce yeah. and needed to do it pretty quickly. So, okay. And so, when you say quickly too, because we have um, so we have our daytime programs, which um, Doctor <laughs> Doctor Gaines, that's great. He'll love that. Um, Don Gaines, when he was in here last week, he was talking to us about he's the um, assistant superintendent over daytime. So we have our daytime programs, which are the twelve. And health careers is one of those. And so the difference between your classes, so which we call them short term classes, these are evening and um, hence the word short, you can get them done quickly. So you can get your CNA quickly, but there's also then health careers, do they offer CNA also? But you would go all year round. Is that right? They offer that they, too. They but. do offer that and they offer it year round. But she also, Polly Cotton is a teacher in that class. And she's able to give them home health aid as well. So okay. they do get a little bit more. Um, another certification. Another certification if, okay. with that. So that does help out. Okay. And so this is the CNA. And these are, um, that's a lot of jobs at nursing homes, hospitals, nursing homes, home hospitals. Home hospitals. Yes, okay. absolutely. Awesome. Okay. And so this month you had a whole bunch of classes get started. And um, so some of those have been um, welding and the furniture construction. That's always neat. Um, and now you have two different levels of classes of those. What is that class Well, the like? furniture construction class got started, and this year we had to split that up because it got big enough that we had beginners in there with the more experienced. Okay. And so we felt like there might have been a little bit of a safety problem, so we put our beginner class on Tuesday night and our experienced class on Monday night. Okay. So and then we just had that uh, the fall wreath making class. We did. So it that, was fun. We had a really good fun. time. And then so you kind of have seasonal classes like artistic kind of, you know, oh, you've had cupcake decorating before. So you have more um, those like hobby that you would call those. Yes. And we do have an upcoming Christmas flower power and that's going to be on November 4th. OK. And we are going to do a Christmas centerpiece. So it'll be in the middle of your table or wherever you want to use that centerpiece for your home, but it will be a Christmas decoration. Okay, you guys kind of lost me with the flower bit, but <laughs> the what's the furniture? It, it's like furniture repair, building no, from raw wood or what? we call it furniture construction, but you actually come in and if you have a project, like I took the class and I made a headboard for my son. And the next year I came back and made a nightstand to match the headboard. So you can come in with okay, your own project. Okay, from scratch. Absolutely. And, right. and we have a teacher in there so, that kind of so guides you. So you do you woodworking, yes. joinery, 
Yes. Finishes. Anything, anything that our, staining and all the the whole thing. Right. Start we finish. have all that equipment okay. in our work in our workshop there. All right. Nice. Maybe I'll do the flower bit later. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot of fun. <laughs> and then beekeeping is another. It's been pretty beekeeping popular. Beekeeping has it? been very popular. This is our third class for beekeeping, and I think we have ten people up there. So. Something that's definitely needed in our area are the bees because they are very important to our, our, um, what word am I thinking of? The, the um, nature. Nature, the I guess. Environment, yeah. The environment, the atmosphere, the air. Um, one class I think that is really crucial and a great fit for business owners or even just employees in, um, in offices is the QuickBooks desktop class. Because I know we have Andrew Smith that works out at High Plains, and I actually um, utilized her services for my husband and I's business with QuickBooks training. Um, and she helps people one on one, but also she has she she is the instructor right yes. for this. Yes, Andrew QuickBooks. does a good job with that, and she not only teaches the class, but she's there as a follow up if you have problems yeah. or questions with any of that. As you get into the field or, or your job. You can call her and ask questions and say, hey, I'm stuck at this spot, and she can coach you through it. So it's really kind of nice to have. Yeah, that's an incredible service because I know when she was doing this and she wasn't at High Plains, I believe she was $98 an hour to use for her services, which we just – you need help in that area, and it's crucial, the the bookkeeping. Um, So – and then some of the other class – well, tell me how do these classes come about? Like why will a certain class happen? Is it from – driven by the need and that you hear A lot of different ways. There's there's people that call and they have an idea for a class or a company calls with a need for a class. So there's a lot of different ways. I have an open door policy and I beg people to come in and give me their ideas Mm -hmm. or – come in as an instructor and want to teach a class. I'm always open to new ideas, and that's what's going to keep our, our place going is we are out there to help our our people. That's awesome. So um, something else we've recently, um, I remember sharing on social media, is looking for an expertise. And so you're also always looking for instructors. And would you say you almost could create a class if you have this this person that just has – all these phenomenal skill sets that they would like to share. You could almost create classes Absolutely. like Excel and then PowerPoint because of this Absolutely. person's expertise. And I did just put a class online for our Excel. Um, I have a teacher coming out of Beaver or out of Buffalo. I'm sorry. Oh, awesome. She's going to be um, coming over, I believe, on Tuesday nights. And don't hold me to that. I'd have okay. to look at the website to to see. But that class is listed right now online. It's a basic Excel class which could lead into an intermediate class if their need arises. Um, We're going to have a basic computer class for seniors. Mm -hmm. That class is going to be for free. And this teacher is also going to be teaching that same class. So Mandy from over at Buffalo is going to be teaching that. That's great. I love the um, different people we get to get in the doors in your with these classes that aren't normally there. So at night, whenever all the daytime students leave, usually it's hustling and bustling with all these other people coming in for these. It's exciting. Classes. It's really exciting to see that different people come from our different communities and our dif- different sending schools, and to meet them yeah. and to find out exactly what they can and bring what they can bring and offer to our to our school. Yeah. Now, Tammy, you mentioned people reach out to you. How would should they just call the school and ask for you? Come they out can there, call the school or do you want to give your cell me. number they can out? Come see or... me. My cell number. <laughs> Um, I can give my cell number. My, my office number is 580-571-6159. All right, great. And, yeah, if you just call the school and ask for Tammy, they all know my my extension. They can so get you to me. What I'm gathering, too, just from the few weeks that we've been doing this, is that uh, you guys teach for careers, but you also just teach for people that just want to continue their yes. education. Yes. Um, and there's a lot of people that want to do that, so it's it's kind of fun. The, the lifelong learner, we can fit there, fit, fit something for them. And also on the website is housed all the time these classes that you And they're changing have. all the time, too. Okay. So you HPTC.edu, go to short-term classes and all classes, and that will list all of the classes that we have and we're offering. And like I said, that does change all the time. Okay. Awesome. Well, Tammy, thank you. This was a lot of info. Um We just hope to hear from you all, and if you want to check out um, the website, that would work, or holler at Tammy. Okay. (laughs) 
I think the bell means our time's up. That's our tardy bell. So, hey, thanks for joining us. You guys have a great day. Thank you.